Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a simple student discount program or student discount for uh, university students for .edu emails. So the simple thing we're gonna do is we're gonna recognize which customers have a .edu email, for example, this fake one that I just made, and we're gonna give them a coupon code. And if they input this coupon code and they have a .edu email, then they'll get 10% off, for example, in this, but obviously you can change it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Shopify default and we're gonna use a free app to achieve this. So let's go ahead. First thing we wanna do is install this app called Auto Tags Customer in Order. You can click here, I'll put this in the YouTube video, and you install it. As soon as you install it, you're gonna go to the setting, you're gonna set it up the first time. The first thing you need to do just the first time is go to the settings, click on Enable, I've already enabled it here, and also specify the time to identify, click on zero. So uh, what does this mean? So this app is basically going to uh, read all of our customer emails and if they have a, a .edu in their email it's going to tag them add a customer tag there which we're going to use in default Shopify to give discounts uh, very simple this just specifies a zero uh, when a new customer gets created or changed how quickly does it tag them so we want them to tag immediately with no delay so I put a zero okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on create new rule which I've already done you can click here. Um, and this this app for free lets you have one rule, which I've done here. If you wanna have more rules, those are you know different things. But basically when you click on create new rule, you create the rule name, for example, edu customers. And I want to tag my customers and I wanna tag them and say anytime they follow some kind of rule, basically they have a .edu in their email, I want you to tag them as this customer tag called edu. And I can specify the rule would be if they have a .edu in their email address now, and then I'm just gonna basically uh, tag them and I'm gonna click on save. Now you can specify if the rule gets tagged only for new customers or existing customers. I recommend to just not have a checkbox, but it, they both can apply, okay? Um, the only downside for this video, obviously this is free and this is the most simple version, is if a customer has an email, for example, stephanie at uh, mit.edu, this will work. But if they also have a .edu .something at, let's say, yahoo.com, it'll also apply as well. So this is using a free app, the most simple method. Uh, there's other ways to do more advanced programs and other stuff like that. So it's not perfect, but it's easy, easy out of the box, and it solves 90% of people's uh, issues. Uh, and uh, that's it. So let's let's jump into it. So what I did is I created the rule, and then as soon as a customer creates a new account, so for example, I created a new account here. You'll see that the app itself will tag the customer with a .edu. So anytime a new customer comes, registers, either you create the customer via the backend or obviously they, they um, let's see here. So obviously they create on the front end, basically on the website. If they create that, they go here, right? So uh, next step, what we need to do is we need to actually create some discounts. We're gonna go here to discount codes and we're gonna create a new one, but I've already created one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on, type in the, the coupon code you want them to input, for example, students. Type in the specific amount you want. For example, I want 10% off, 10% off. And I'm going to assign it to specific group of customers. Now, what do we need to do? So I'm gonna click here on customers. We need to do one more step. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna click on filters and we're gonna look at the tagged with and we're gonna specify the tag that we created in the app. For example, this. And once we do that, we'll, we'll notice that there's some customers that have an edu tag and then we're gonna save it. And we're gonna save it, for example, as edu um, customers, right? When I click on that edu customers, okay? Now I've, I've already done it here, so let me create a new one. Okay, now we have this saved as a customer group. So now when we go here to the discount, we can specify the specific group of customers and we can basically search for them of right here. Now, when you create a new group, you have to wait about 30 seconds or so and it's gonna appear. Uh, but once you do that, you're gonna select the group and you're gonna select any other time frames or anything like that and you're gonna save and that's it and you're good to go. So 
let me show you right here. I'll show you that. Let's refresh this. I'll show you that the new customer group appeared. Okay, so right here, and you'll see it's right here. Okay, so that's it. And so once you do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna give your customers the coupon code, right? And then your customers are gonna go and go to the website. They're gonna be logged in. They're gonna eventually add to cart, eventually get to the checkout page, and they're gonna put in the student discount and they're gonna get their discount that you want, and that's it. If they don't have a .edu, even if they have the coupon code, it will not work, right? So it's gonna be assigned for you have to use the coupon code and you have to have a .edu in your email address. That's it. Uh, hope you guys like this video. I uh, hope you can subscribe, join. We have a lot more Shopify videos, e-commerce videos, Magento, Google Analytics, marketing ads, everything. Uh, we're here to help you guys. So let me know uh, any advanced things you want to get into, any details about this video or other. Appreciate you guys listening to our channel. Uh, thank you guys.